Okay, so today we're going to be finishing this OOTMM seed. So, notice how the tracker doesn't have goal mode anymore because I realize we don't have oath to order, but that's okay because once I get all four remains, Skull Kid will tell me what region it's in. So, we're still fine about that, thankfully. We don't have to worry. But yes, we do have to go back to uh, Great Bay Temple. I didn't start the timer. We have to uh, go back to Great Bay Temple and finish that up. So we can get MM Light Arrow, so we can do Stone Tower Temple. Which... Should be pretty quick. Because I don't have to do regular at all. I should have just played Prelude to come here, but oh well. It's fine. Makes up for the time that I that I didn't uh, activate the timer, I guess. 3, 2, 1, let's pickle into MM. Night of day one, I have all these fairies for Georg. And I still need to beat Ganon. Probably should have done that first when I was in OOT, but... Eh. Because I'm going to beat Ganon first before I beat Majora. That much is true. So yeah, we just need to find the boss key. Then we can continue on in the dungeon. I hope their next introduces an option to remove boss keys because they are annoying to find when you're when you barely have anything left in the game. That's beautiful. I didn't have ice arrows equipped. Now I know the water is moving in like the wrong direction. Or at least not in the initial direction. So there's going to be stuff that I'm missing. A few chests. But hopefully I'll find the boss key without having to reverse the water first. Like I said, I'm just going to bomb hover to the actual boss door itself. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So we lucked out. We really did that it was in that chest. I didn't have to do anything else. Once fairy sanity is a thing, it's going to make uh, the dungeons a lot more interesting. 
And just key sanity in general, to be honest. Now, this should be pretty easy to do. I haven't really bomb hovered on N64 before, but chew hovering is really easy. Like, period. So. Easy. Easy peasy. I still don't have the Gerudo card. That could be a problem. Because what if Oath is inside like GTG or something? He doesn't take damage. I hate Georg. Okay, where is he? Another hit in. Hey, that should be that should be the f end of the first phase. Thank goodness. This boss isn't hard. It's just annoying. Like, seriously. I'm probably o way over prepared with all the fairies, but do I really care if I over prepared? No. So I still. It can help with Majora because I still don't have Fierce Deity. Oh my god, he's What 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 is its hitbox? That's what I want to know.
Oh, that's just great. There you go. Beat Georg. Took long enough. And that is the Goron Ruby. Ba, 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 ba. And the compass. Beautiful. I, w I wonder, because this tracker is so large, you got the compass. Goron's Ruby. If I can just use my my two trackers separately that I use for OOT and for MM. Ours. The only issue would be saying where the remains and stuff are. All right, I'm going to save at the Owl Statue. Okay. Right. So heal with this fairy. Fun. Okay. Right. So let's finally get our light arrow. Okay, um, uh, now I need... Go over to the boat. He's gonna say, he's probably gonna say it's too late, but I'll just wait for it if I have to. Like... The Fisherman's Jumping Game. And I have plenty of rupees. I wasn't paying attention to what score I need, so I'm just going to keep going until time runs out or I fail.
There we go, finally. Light arrow MM. <sighs> okay, we're almost done with the seed. I still need to find the boss key for Stone Tower Temple. Mm. So I might have to go through regular Stone Tower. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'll invert first. Do I have a bean? I have five, because I never did the well. Do I have Song of Storms? Of course I don't. Let's hope the boss key is in here, like, early on. Why is the music so quiet and inverted? I somehow let out a bomb rather than a chew. Hey Asra, how's the end game going? Fine, we don't have Oath, but the game will tell us where it is when we have all four remains, so it's no longer go mode. And I'm trying to activate that switch by bomb hovering to it. And I still need to find the boss key for this dungeon. Once again, I somehow activated a bomb first rather than a chew. Why? Can't I get there normally? I don't want to. It takes too long to go all the way around. But, yeah, I can. Oh, come on. There's not even magic. Uh, 
I want to activate the switch so I can get up top quickly. Okay, why didn't that work? There we go. That part is very specific. So we just need to search for the boss key. And don't fall, Link. The camera turned around. Oh, well, there's a small key. That's all we really need is one. I like how Deku is so small he can't press any switches, so his elegy is completely useless. Come on, boss key. Come on, boss key. That's not a boss key. Now, I've been. Oh, did I put the suggestion in the Discord to remove boss keys? Yeah. Nax said that would be really easy to implement. <laughs> no! How did I fall? See why I don't want to do this normally? But, but hovering is... But without instant blast mass, this sucks. There's another way, but I'm bad at it. I haven't... I, I'm unable to do it lately. Why, dude? It's not pushing me off. Like, this is easy as adult Link. The place is closed so you cannot ledge grab. You had to do the bomb mask of on 3D without it as well. Line, line this up. Neutral roll. Bomb's supposed to launch me sideways, but it's not. There's like a perfect spot to stand in, but I'm not able to get it right now, and I don't know why. And it's like on this line. Thanks, Death Armos. I keep doing ESS turns instead of like normal turns that I want. Doing them too lightly. Stop it. This is ridiculous. This sh this is not a hard trick. Neutral roll. No. 
I pressed A when I let it go, but he didn't neutral roll, and that screwed it up. Well, it was also the wrong position anyway. I don't want to do this. I don't want to find the boss key. This is annoying. Boss keys are so annoying. Hey. Launch. This is so ridiculous. Why isn't this working? Okay, this should work. What? Come on, I was so close to the ledge. I don't get it. Whatever, I have to leave. Because I only have, I don't have many keys. I only have one key. I can fight go mess. Okay, here here's an idea. Fight go mess. <sighs> okay. I know what I'm going to do. Giant's mask. Uh I haven't done that trick in so long, but it should be easy. Or should I just go the normal path because this puzzle is so ridiculously slow. I don't want to do it. Why? Oh my god, now I fell again. I don't want to do this, as you can clearly tell. I don't want to go through this dungeon. I can't control this, either. Oh my god. Move! Why is this camera so pathetic in this section? Oh my god, I made it. I really like this dungeon, but I don't want to do it because I am tired of this seed. I just want to be done. And the fact that it's all because of boss keys is really irritating. Thank you for not spinning properly. So now I have to do that again. And then the camera does that garbage. Don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Uh, okay, now we fight go mess. This should be easy. And maybe, who knows, he'll have the boss key. Please be the boss key. Or another small key. I'll take both. Is there an easy boss key skip in this for this dungeon?
Like, do you know? Somehow I made that without falling or without getting hit. Okay, made it over to the Death Armos. Thank goodness. So we got that sw switch activated, so that means I can go up there. Now, I really would not l want to spend my one small key actually going through that. But that's a start. Okay, there's another small key. Of course. I'm trying to do a roll jump, but it's he's not rolling. Yeah, he's not rolling. Oh my gosh. I'm having so much trouble right now. Okay, there's the map. Hey, please Giant's Mask Chest have the boss key. <laughs> okay, are there any other chests in ISTT that I can get right now? Or is that it? I think that's it. I don't have any water to grow um, the beans to get the chests up top, which... Right now, we're super f are worthless anyway. Oh, hey. Okay. 
Because I equipped my bottle, so you might have an idea of what I'm doing. Because I need to enter regular Stone Tower Temple, but I don't want to wait for the elegy stuff. So I'm going to do something different. I haven't done this trick in a while. It's pretty easy, though. Never done it on N64, though. I just did time stop. So right now, it's just searching for the boss key. Then, we fight. Then we go to Majora, or Skull Kid, who tells us where Oath is. And then if it's in MM, we get it. If it's in OOT, we'll, fight, we'll get it and fight Ganon. Then we'll come back to fight Majora. That's the plan right now. Sounds good. There it is, thank goodness. It was early. I really like OOTMM, but I am just, I am tired of this seed. I want to move on. But I do love this game. Why do I need to beat both final bosses? Because that's how you reach the end credits. After you beat one of the bosses, it doesn't take you two credits. It just takes you back to the game. So to get to the end credits, you need to beat both bosses. And I want to beat Ganon first because last time I beat Majora first. So I want to see MM's credits this time. Yeah, it is pretty neat how Nax did that. Okay, nice roll jump, Link. Okay, so we already have the boss here. I already did all the setup to get to the boss door. So you see why I wanted to get all that done? And why I didn't want to go through that horrible, horrible room with the puzzle they have to keep flipping and all that? I still think what I did was faster. By going through gold mess and then around. But yeah, until key sanity is a thing, I would like to just remove boss keys. Once key sanity is a thing, I will totally keep them in because that that adds an extra challenge. But right now they're just annoying. So yeah. I'm just going to use Giant's Mask because we don't have fast arrow cycling. Mm. 
Hey, Red is dead. I don't have any magic. How'd that miss? Of course I missed the magic. Mold is defeated, and that is our Georg's remains. Ah. Okay, so let's go see where Oath is. Oh my god, that's going to take forever to to wait until it's midnight. Okay. Right. To actually get to Skull Kid. Okay. Right. Let's uninvert time, and we'll immediately make it night three. I'm tempted to just look at the spoiler log to see the region, actually. But I don't want to know the exact check. Hmm. 
Nah, we'll just wait for Skull Kid, because I don't want to wait the six minutes. But there are checks we can get in those six minutes, actually. I can think of a few. I could do the okay. I know I know some checks we can get. I'm not doing Sacred Shrine. Really? Oh my goodness. I actually made that dolphin jump. Beautiful. I'm jinxed. <laughs> There's the pendant. Yeah, Anjun Cafe was junk. So, we don't need to worry about that. Do I just roll around Terminal Field now? For like four more minutes? Yeah, we just have to wait. Hey, it's not going to take too long. It's only three more minutes. What does this stone say? I never did read this one. Goron Tunic can be found inside Dodongo's Cavern. Okay. Gerudal Archery holds a uh, red rupee and gold skull chilla token. Okay. So we know it's not on boat or on Gerudal Archery. We can get to Gerudal Fortress now. We do have long shot, even though we don't have um, opponent song. Let's just hope. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing that we would need opponent song for, if we didn't have long shot. So we can get across if we have to. Oh, I fell in the grotto. Actually, I have an idea. What I think I'll do is I'll save at the Owl Statue once it's midnight. So I don't have to wait again to go to Skull Kid. I just won't save after talking to him. I'll just hit reset. I won't song a time. So that means my last save will still be at the Owl Statue after midnight. Which means it'll keep my time for MM.
So that's an idea. That sound like a good idea, chat room? If you don't understand, I can explain it more too while we're waiting another minute. Try? Yeah, I'll try it. Just 30 more seconds. This is why we need Sunsong. Like, as an option. Like, I talked to Nax about it. He said he'd be open. Yeah, it's in the file. So, yeah, Nax said he'd be open to adding it as an option. Uh, like, under the advanced settings. Like, no logic is considered advanced. There we go. Yeah, it just has to be activated. It's, like, probably, like, one line of code or something. So now I will invert. Save, save, save. So let's see what Skull Kid says is where, because we have all four remains. We just don't have Oath to Order. Have you found the Oath to Order in Gerudo Valley? Okay. We're going to Gerudo Valley, chat room. Thankfully, we have long shot. Have you found the Oath to Order in Gerudo Valley? <laughs> That's a great, that's just great. You need all four remains to get that hint, so. Nax should add an SFX to that. Okay, let's just prelude. Because I did everything in Drudel Valley as Young Link. There's not a lot, but I did it. So that means it has to be adult. There are two spiders... And there is uh, trading in the poacher saw, which I have. And that's about it for. Oh, and there's the hammer chest. So that's that's four checks, all of which I can get. And then after we get oath, if we get it, who knows if it if it is on these four checks? It should be, but we don't know for sure. Then we will fight Ganon and then go back to fight Majora, which we saved at midnight. So we shouldn't have to wait. Like Skull Kid laughing in SFX. Ha ha ha, you haven't even found Oath to Order. Thankfully, long shot works for that. You wonder if Ganondorf laughs when saying his text. Cause look, I don't have a lot of stuff in in, in the Gerudo area. Cause I never found Epona Song, Epona Song or Sun Song are the two songs that I'm missing for the upper row. Oh well, there's the golden scale. Thank you, 
Skull Kid for telling me where that was. Ulta order. We have it. Okay, let's go fight Ganon. I I we removed his boss key, so we can just go straight to him. So we have the oath to order. Now we are officially go mode. Now we are officially go mode. Why are the models of the songs angled like that? Okay, there's two ways for it to there there are two ways to distinguish what songs are what. If it has like a flag on the top or the bottom, that means it's for OOT. Without a flag, there's no if that without a flag it's MM. If it's right side up, it's the top row. If it's upside down, it's the bottom row. So that that's how you can tell what song is what. Yeah, it's really cool how Nax did that. And, and uh, because of that, OOTR actually is implementing that too for uh, right side up and upside down. OOTR is implementing that too. Let's ask Zoe. Honestly, we still need colored song models for the uh, top row songs. But which we can have if it's right side up or upside down. Zoe, for all we know, Zoe already implemented that for 1.16. We just don't know. I'm still curious on where entrance, like where entrance rando is at in, in uh, MMR, if there's any new developments. But I'm not gonna ask Zoe, cause she didn't like it last time I asked. To this door, yes. Are we ready, chat room, to fight the first final boss? That one said, have you found the light arrow at Lon Lon Ranch? I have light arrow. And I know to equip the Master Sword. I'll do that right now.
come on. Fun fact about Gandorf, he doesn't take more damage from the Master Sword. Only Ganon. Oh, so I should use the bigger on sword on Ganondorf? Dang it, I'm so bad at this. Harder to volleyball with it. Got him. Joshua. So we escape the whole, we uh, avoid the whole tower falling escape sequence at this point. Thank goodness, Nax did that. How many hits does he take?
Is this the final part of the fight? Like, I, I do, I've done this before a few times, but I still don't remember. I love how I can't turn around. Hey, we got him. So we got Ganon complete. Now we just have to do Majora. We'll have to wait for it to be daytime in um, OOT though. Once we turn Young Link. Cause I still don't have Sun Song. So yeah, but we beat Ganon. And we just now we just have to go to Majora. We have to wait till it's daytime. Oh, the moon is still going up. It's not even going down. So I guess while we're waiting, I can start making that Paper Mario seed that I'm going to play after.
Okay. So it's almost daytime. Okay. Right. Let's go to Majora. Now, this should already be daytime. Be already midnight on day three. Yes, perfect. And we have O to order. There we go. Let's save one more time. Now, I'm not worried at all about Majora. Have you found the Ort to Orange Rudo Valley? Yes, I have. Thank you. Well, shall we go? Jorah's Mask. Yorg, I hate you. Die. Goat, you suck. Twin mold. It took too long to find your boss key. So, screw you. And Odalwa, well... You weren't so bad, but still, I have to kill you too. Okay. Mask is dead. So this is about was about a twelve hour seed. You're getting annoying now.
Hey, jeez. Yeah, he was always annoying. True. Hey, now wrath. Okay, we win. Uh, that was a seed of OOTMM. Holy moly. With 160 token skull sanity. That was really fun. It got annoying near the end just because I wanted it to be done and all the stupid boss keys and whatnot. But the in-place hints was so helpful, like telling me where Oath was, for example. That was extremely helpful. The Way of the Heroes, that's how I knew to go to Water Temple because those iron boots were in Southern Swamp. Although I s completely skipped, lo like broke logic by skipping Lens of Truth and Zora Tunic somewhere. So who knows where those were. I don't I don't know nor do I really care so once it hits dawn of a new day um, I'm just gonna hit reset because that's when it saves dawn of a new day actually I'm just gonna let this play out He's awake while well, it, it requires me interacting with it. So I'm just going to talk over this right now. This was a fun seed. It took, uh, like I said, today was day five. So it took five days to um, to beat. But still, very fun seed. OTMM is, is such a great randomizer. I'm so happy it exists and that there's constantly new features, bug fixes being done, new features being added, speed ups being added. Um, things like that. So yeah, um, I'm going to end the recording, but I'm not ending the stream because like I said, I've, now we're going to be doing a Paper Mario seed. That's going to be really fun. So yeah, like I said, but ending the, ending the recording. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a nice time. I'm Josh 600 I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch where you can watch this stuff live. And yeah, okay, goodbye. This was a really fun seed. See ya. Thanks for watching.